Hey everybody, and welcome to the first ever no filter holiday movie bracket. We have taken all of the best Christmas movies and we split them into four regions. We have the classics, modern faves, kinda Christmassy, and animated. Then, within the regions, the movies were seeded by two esteemed people. They basically just averaged how they felt about the movies and ranked them. And then I have already taken us from the round of 32 down to the Sweet 16. And now we're going to figure out the Elite Eight. So starting in the Classics region, we've got number one seed Home Alone versus number four seed The Santa Claus. This is really tough. Both fantastic films that I enjoy watching, but obviously got to give it to Home Alone. Next, we've got the number six seed, It's a Wonderful Life, up against the number two seed, Christmas Vacation. This was possibly one of the harder decisions I've made the entire bracket. In the first round, we had a Christmas story against It's a Wonderful Life. That's an impossible decision to make because both of those movies are like in my top five. It's a Wonderful Life wins out. So now, shit, that's Zuzu's pedals. I'm bleeding, Bert. My mouth's bleeding. How can that not make it to the next? Oh my God, my mother's gonna kill me. <sighs> next, we're gonna move on to the kind of Christmassy region, which is for all you people who are like, Die Hard's the best Christmas movie. And then other people are like, that's not really a Christmas movie. So it has its own region, so you can shut the f up. First up, we've got the number one seed, Die Hard, up against the number five seed, Edward Scissorhands. Obviously, Die Hard took down Home Alone 3 because who's even seen that movie? It's not even the same little kid. Rocky IV versus Edward Scissorhands was really, really tough. Rocky IV is the fourth installment of the Rocky franchise. Edward Scissorhands stands on its own. It's an original. So, therefore, Scissorhands was my victor. Scissorhands versus Die Hard, I think that's a pretty easy, it's gonna be Die Hard. And the last matchup in the kind of Christmas Eve division, we have the number six seed, Lethal Weapon, up against number two seed, Gremlins. The thing about Gremlins is like, the part that makes it Christmassy also makes it really dark. It's like they don't celebrate Christmas because her father dressed up as Santa and tried to come down through the chimney to give them presents and got stuck in the chimney and died. Call me old fashioned, I like Christmas to be about positivity, so we're going with Lethal Weapon. Moving over to the modern faves region, we have number one seed Elf up against number four seed Love Actually. Love Actually is like a top tier chick flick. I know a lot of dudes who like that movie. I want to act like this is a really tough call and I'm going to think about it, but obviously it's Elf. Next, we've got uh, number six seed The Ref up against number two seed Home Alone 2. The Ref is one of the most underrated Christmas movies ever. So funny. Home Alone 2, great film, but like not underrated. Also, if your family is that stupid to pull the same move two years in a row, at what point does Kevin just kill himself? <laughs> so for that reason, fuck the McAllisters, the ref wins. Moving on to the animated region, we have number one seed. You made that number one, the Grinch? We have number one seed, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, up against number four seed, a Charlie Brown Christmas. So I love The Grinch as much as the next guy, I really do. Great story there, but uh, not as great as Charlie Brown. All right, last matchup of the Sweet 16 going into the Elite Eight. We've got number three seed, Nightmare Before Christmas, going up against Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the number two seed. Um, obviously the round before that, Rudy kicked eight Crazy Nights ass. And just like that, this became the Christmas movie bracket. <laughs> a Nightmare Before Christmas beat Muppet Christmas Carol because Muppets freak me the f out. Like, is there a hand in there? Here we are, Nightmare Before Christmas up against Rudolph. I'm going with Rudolph. We have arrived here at the Elite Eight. Now it's time to start making some even more difficult life decisions. Home Alone, Christmas Vacation. My brain keeps being like, obviously, it's Home Alone. And then two seconds later, obviously, it's Christmas Vacation. I feel like Christmas Vacation had a harder battle to get here. And I'm gonna give it credit for that, whether I should or I shouldn't. Christmas Vacation's moving on to the next round. Down to the kind of Christmassy region, if we're talking Die Hard versus Lethal Weapon. 
obviously going to go with Die Hard because you cannot have an anti-Semite make it further in your holiday movie bracket. It's just not right. We already eliminated eight crazy nights. Over in the modern faves division now, we've got to go between Elf and The Ref. And this isn't fair, because The Ref is my underrated favorite Christmas movie that nobody knows anything about. But if I get into Juggernaut like Elf, The Ref is like my Florida Gulf Coast University. <laughs> so as long as you guys promise me you'll watch The Ref, I'm gonna do the right thing and move Elf on to the next round. And lastly, on to the animated region. We've got Charlie Brown against Rudolph. Why have I done this to myself? Well, folks, you know what they say. Sorry, Charlie, going with Rudolph. Down to the final four. Who's it gonna be in the championship? Over here, we've got Christmas Vacation against Die Hard. I think I've put enough thought into Die Hard for the day. I'm gonna go with Christmas Vacation. And then over here, we've got Elf up against Rudolph. Uh, just, I'm gonna just Elf. I don't want to think about it anymore because I'm just done. Just done thinking about what's been left behind and I'm going to think about what's ahead of me. Now we've got to do some thinking because we've got two great Christmas movies. The immediate benefits that come to mind for Christmas Vacation over Elf is that Christmas Vacation is a classic. And that's what Christmas is about. Elf is relatively new. What hurts Elf for me is the casting of the little kid. I don't like him. I didn't feel connected with him. He was just kind of like a brat. And the other thing is like, that's a pretty common theme, work versus spending time with your family. But like, honey, if he doesn't go to work, the, the guy from Elf, if he's not at work, then he's gonna lose his job. And then how are you gonna live in that expensive apartment in New York City? Answer me that. Whereas Christmas Vacation it was more about like, I hate my fucking boss and my fucking job, which everybody can relate to. I fucking hate my family, I fucking hate my neighbors and hate everybody. I can really relate to that. Here it goes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas Vacation is the champion of your first ever no filter holiday movie bracket. If you haven't filled out your version of this bracket yet, you can't complain because you have no idea how difficult this is. You can find a link to it in the description below. Be sure to fill that out and tweet it at me so I can make fun of your decisions. Happy holidays, bye.